Hey folks, happy October. Uh, I realize this is my second video that's coming out in October, but it's the first one I've filmed in October. So happy October. <laughs> I love October. October is one of my favorite months besides my birth month, which is May. I'm a sucker for Halloween. I love Halloween. I love Halloween decorations. I will be putting up more behind me. I love Halloween movies. I love Halloween stores. I love all kinds of Halloween. I love Halloween costumes. And today we are going to do a little bit more window shopping and we're going to be looking specifically at like plus size Halloween costumes. We're going to have a few laughs, a few gaffes. We're just going to we're just gonna have a good time. And again, I thank my very good friend Nisi Pisa for um, letting me do videos in this style because this is a thing that she does a lot. And uh, I initially asked her a while back and I was like, I, I need an idea for a video. And she was like, why don't you just do window shopping? I was like, wait, really? <laughs> We're gonna do more of that today because I have a lot of fun with it and especially with Halloween costumes because they're so fun. They're so funny, they're so silly. But before we jump into the window shopping, we're actually filming it live today. Today's video is sponsored by Warby Parker. Unless you're brand new to my channel, hello. Uh, you're probably very familiar with Warby Parker because I've been wearing them for close to a decade. They're friends of the channel. We love Warby Parker glasses. And if you've never heard of Warby Parker, they are a glasses and eyewear company and eye care company. But what makes Warby Parker extra cool is their at-home try-on program where you go to their website, you can take a little quiz if you're not sure what kind of glasses you want, if you want something like this, if you want something metal, if you want something thinner, if you want something round, there are all kinds of stuff styles and then you can pick out five pairs to get sent to your home for free no purchase necessary like this and then you open it up and you have five pairs of glasses to try on for five days i've done this so many times now i'm all, i feel like i've almost made it through all the pairs of glasses so today we are trying on drew these ones look kind of similar to the ones that i'm wearing currently this is in a rose crystal it's the same color <laughs> It's the same color that I'm wearing right now. These are my glasses. These are the Drew's. <laughs> and these are uh, Sadie, by the way. I like these though, but clearly I have a pair that are very similar to it. These are fun. Next, Baird. This was one that I haven't tried anything like, I don't think. It was giving me the dad from Heroes. Do you guys remember him? Save the cheerleader, save the world. Yeah, this is totally giving the dad from Heroes in his horn rim glasses. I like it though, I feel like a librarian, like a cool librarian. No, I feel like a, the cool older lady that works at the record store that like provides random wisdom, giving me wise. I like it though. I really like these, these are cute. Madeline or Madeline. The thing that I really love about these five at-home try-ons is getting to do stuff like this, where I can look at myself in the mirror, I can look at myself in the camera, I can take pictures and I get to try things on in the privacy of my own home because I can get a lot of like social anxiety in situations where I have to like make a purchasing decision and having people kind of like follow me around sometimes can be a little bit nerve wracking. So getting to try things on without the pressure of feeling like I have to buy something, I can't see very well because these don't have prescription in them, but I can feel how they feel and I can feel how the periphery fits within my, my field of vision. And um, I like trying them on at home. These are fun, these are cute. I got a couple pairs of sunglasses this time. Toddy, AKA one of my favorite holiday drinks. Ooh, I like these too. I don't really need a new pair of sunglasses, but I know Josh does. Well, these are really cute. And last but not least, we have Rosie. Well, these are big. Ooh, <laughs> I like these too. I think I might've tried on a pair of glasses with these frames. And that's one of the other cool things about Warby Parker is that a lot of them, they cross over from sunglasses to eyeglasses. So if you like a particular frame and a particular shape and it's really, really comfortable on you, you can get them in sunglasses too. I'm gonna tell you, Warby Parker have been my favorite glasses I've ever used. And I've, like I said, I've been using them for about a decade. So I can attest to the quality. And even if after you do this, you're not quite sure if you picked out something that you want, you can do it again. There's no purchase necessary. All you have to do is put it back in the box. It comes with a shipping label. I'm not gonna show it to you because it has my mailing address on it, but it comes with a shipping return label. You just tape it back up, put the return label on, you send it back. You don't have to pay anything. Glasses do start at $95. I 
recommend them highly. I recommend them entirely. And while I don't wear contact lenses myself, they do have contact lenses available for sale on their website. And at a lot of their locations, you can actually go in and get an eye test in store. It's a one-stop shop. You can get everything all at once. I don't know, I'm just a big fan. <laughs> so if you're interested in trying five free at-home try-ons today, go to warbyparker.com slash Abby. That's warbyparker.com slash Abby. Thanks again to Warby Parker for sponsoring today's video. Go check out the link below and let's jump back into the video. So I've pulled up a couple websites that we're gonna look at uh, Halloween costumes. You know, some of these are pretty silly. Some of these are pretty silly. Let's actually start with cider because these just make me laugh. There aren't that many of them, but they're all a little bit silly. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so this is cider. Cider is like the newer kind of fast fashion website. They, I don't know, seem to be a little bit more curated as far as style goes. Their plus size Halloween section. Wow. First of all, we have two different Taylor Swift costumes up at the top here. And like this is specifically just for the Eras tour. This is Taylor Swift. You're gonna, you wanna be Taylor Swift for Halloween? <laughs> I think it's funny that they put it in the Halloween section because it was definitely just for people who were wanting to dress up to go to the Eras tour. I, the quality, this is probably not the best quality, but like, you know, it'd be a decent dress for like, I don't know, a flappers party. Like a 20s party, a flapper party. Um, there's another Taylor Swift one. Sequin tassels crop cami top curvin plus. Um, also, their prices aren't nearly as terrifying as Shein. You don't have like $3 tops. Again, very 20s, uh, just Taylor Swift. This is just the same thing, but black and in two pieces. Just two pieces. I do enjoy that they styled someone I can't tell if that's a wig or not because it looks like a wig here, but mm, mm, I have no idea. This one feels a bit ill-timed and weird, um, especially after um, some of the criticisms that people have thrown at, um, I think it was Blonde, the Marilyn Monroe movie that came out a couple years ago that like got nominated for a bunch of stuff, but it was also like kind of gross. This one's called Iconic Blonde Bombshell Costume because you can't call it a Marilyn Monroe costume. Again, dressing up as real people celebrities if it's not for a meme, I don't know. That feels odd for Halloween. It also kind of looks like a diaper. I can't tell if I think this is cute or not. Like I like the pattern. I like the pattern. I'll give the I'll give it to him for the pattern, but like I can't tell if I think this is cute or not. Imperfection is beauty. Madness is genius. It's better to be absolutely ridiculous than absolutely boring. You already know who this is. The iconic blonde bombshell costume bodysuit is perfect for channeling your inner babe this Halloween with a strapless Str Strapless design, vintage inspired rose print, and red velvet detail. This bodysuit is only missing one thing. You. This is not strapless. What are you talking about? This has decidedly straps. There are straps on this. I don't know what you're talking about strapless. Also, I love that they like allude to the fact, you know who this is. We don't have to tell you. We don't have to actually like worrying about like licensing her likeness for monetary gain. That's fine. That's so silly and kind of weird. This weird, this weird. This one, I can't tell if it's supposed to be like a Jedi or not. I have no clue. The one thing that always makes me laugh about Halloween costumes and Halloween sections on like fast fashion websites is that some of them are just like clothes that emo kids would wear. Like it's not a Halloween costume. Like I went to Nordstrom uh, rack a few weeks ago before the wedding I photographed last month. The lady working, I was wearing my Death Note hoodie and the lady working was like, oh, is that your Halloween costume? I'm like, no, that's just my clothes. Like that's just what I wear, ma'am. Ma'am, that's just what I wear. That's just what I look like. It was pretty great. All right, back to me being in the corner. Well, let's go over here. This is fine. Yeah, cool. Why? What are you supposed to be? Floral sheer ruffle hem to maxi dress. Because there's no description. There's no description. No one tells me what I'm supposed to be. I was like... No, is it like or from the Black Parade? Because the way it's styled looks far more Jedi-like than this. I feel like this reads just the main character from the Helena music video. I don't know. That's not Halloween. That's just a dress. That's just a goth dress. 
Next week, we've gone in a completely different direction with the velvet middle waist, solid heart, straight leg, trousers, curve, and plus. This is a Barbie costume, okay? This is just Barbie. Although, I don't remember her wearing a tracksuit necessarily because realistically, this looks more like the Cheetah Girls. Is this supposed to be the Cheetah Girls? There's cheetah print. Is this supposed to be the cheetah girls or is this Barbie? I don't know. Again, there's things in these sections where I'm like, what is this? So we have these Taylor Swift outfits, cheetah girls. Um, we have like a fairy. We have like a dark fair, like a fallen angel. This looks like Mother Gothel from Tangled. And then we just got goth clothes. Like... <laughs> goth clothes it's so funny because like what is these are not halloween costumes here's a pumpkin sweater okay but like we want to be protozoa from xenon girl of the 21st century or xenon these ones threw me off so much this shirt and these pants i was like is it to be harry styles for halloween like i was so confused of what those clothes were supposed to be invoking because this looks like something that harry styles would have worn i'm sorry i but i don't know what this is supposed to be like a knit vest and then a maxi skirt like what who are you supposed Oh, it makes me laugh so hard because it's like, these are not Halloween. They're just black. Oh God, I love it so much. It's so stupid. <laughs> Some of the stuff is really cute though. Like I would wear it in not Halloween. I'm wearing pajamas right now. But you would never know unless I told you, which I just did. We have a few costumes up at the top and then just emo clothes. <laughs> These are just ripped pants. Do you want to go as a mall goth for Halloween? Although I did think about going as a Hot Topic employee because I still have my Hot Topic um, lanyard from when I worked there like eight years ago. I thought about dressing up as a Hot Topic employee on one of the days before Halloween because I don't know why that would just make me giggle. And I feel like if I sent it to my old boss, he would also laugh. We're still friends on Instagram. <laughs> I photographed his wedding. We're cool. He was easily the best boss I've ever had. Okay, next. Let's go to Hot Topic. <laughs> Sometimes I will have no intention of buying any clothes, right? And usually I don't go into Hot Topic when I'm at the mall because it's like out of the way or it's busy and I don't want to deal with it. And I'm just end up staring at a wall of Funko Pops. And I was like, I don't need any of these. Where are the Nendoroids? Give me those. I love just like browsing the Hot Topic website sometimes just to see like how far we've come back. And I'm going to tell you, we have come back to my middle school years and I'm kind of here for it. Like the clothes that I wore in the eighth and ninth grade when I was like a huge fan of Good Charlotte and the All-American Rejects, they're back, baby. <laughs> but also, so are these very silly Halloween costumes. Look at these. We have spooky beauty costume plus size. Is it just for like a chubby Morticia? Okay. <laughs> just chubby Morticia. That's fine. $85? Oh my gosh, the prices have gone up since I worked there. I worked two holidays and one Halloween. <sighs> Halloween was such a fun time at Hot Topic, not gonna lie. I just got to dress like Lydia Dietz all the time. Just put like the most black eyeshadow on my face. It was awesome. Beer garden, babe. <laughs> Nailed it, construction worker. Oh my God, we got a Cheshire cat. I'm just gonna open up a lot of these. Tinkerbell. Again, they can't license the titles of the names, which honestly, slay. Um, <laughs> because whenever I go into Champion, um, which is a local costume shop, and anything that's actually licensed, they're so expensive. They're so expensive to license Halloween costumes. It's just like, here's this mediocre Halloween costume that's like way too much money because we actually had to have the title of like Lord of the Rings. I don't know. It's so expensive. So we have Beer Garden Babe. I love the titles that they have to give them. Like, I mean, I guess what would she be? A barmaid? I really wish that they had like descriptions. Gar Beer Garden Babe features gingham peasant dress with lace up detail and cold shoulder accent, attached apron and floral ribbon trim. Give me a story. Give me a story of this Beer Garden Babe. Who is she? What are her motivations? What is she doing with her life? What do I need to embody, okay? 
nailed it construction worker. The only way that you can nail it being a construction worker is if you get your stuff done fast so you don't have to hold up traffic for the rest of time. Also, I'm sure that this is supposed to be just like sexy Bob the Builder. <laughs> why is it sexy Bob the Builder? Nailed it construction plus... Also, why is it... I mean, I guess nailed it with a hammer. That makes sense. You nail ham... You hammer nails. Yeah. Comfy cat plus size costume. This one's not nearly as expensive, but it's just a onesie, so I would hope not. Oh, I guess it's not technically a Cheshire cat. They just styled it with gr purple tights, which, you know, cute. Seems easy. It looks, it's pajamas. Or if you're like, I don't know, dipping your toe into being a furry. <laughs> That's kind of cute. I'm not mad at it. Obviously, if you're not like passing out candy, if you're passing out candy, you should get one with pants. Um, two piece storybook hood, <laughs> not little red riding hood, storybook hood includes lace trimmed peasant dress with lace up waist, satin trimmed split skirt attached long hooded cape and choker. Oh, again, very like cheap cosplay for the Renaissance fair, but you know, four piece delightful, <laughs> delightful hatter. Not a friendly hatter, not a, a boisterous hatter, an outgoing hatter, or um, an angry hat. No, a, a delightful hatter, as opposed to a mad one. I don't know, this looks like the same outfit. This looks like the same outfit to me. I don't know, this looks like something that the mad hatter would wear. What would a delightful hatter wear? The other ones are just kind of like vague references to things. Like there's one in here that's like a very like clear Harry Potter costume. Um, and they call it something different. But this one, they took the opposite of the Mad Hatter. The Delightful Hatter. Again, it's $75. However, if you tried to build out an entire costume like this with like actually like nicer materials and nicer things, you would have to, to hunt a lot. And it would probably be a lot more expensive. Like this jacket alone, if you got something that was nice, would probably like close to that, depending on where you found it. And if it was at like a vintage store. So, you know... That's the nice thing about Hot Topic. When I did work there during Halloween, it was always a great place for people to come and find like last minute Halloween costumes. And sometimes they would buy like three t-shirts from the $5 t-shirt pile. I really miss the $5 t-shirt pile, not gonna lie. More booze dress. This just, this is like a wine mom Halloween costume. <laughs> this is, do you wanna be a wine mom for Halloween? This, this is your costume. Just a, just a cold shoulder loose shirt dress with text. This is a live, laugh, love, wine mom Halloween costume. And honestly, I would wear it. It looks comfortable. <laughs> it's so dumb though. <laughs> it's It embraces the cringe, you know? Sometimes you just gotta embrace the cringe and I appreciate this for embracing the cringe. Good job. Good job cringing and embracing it. Magic babe costume. This one's cute. I'd wear that. I can't tell if she's supposed to be Megara or if she's supposed to be a witch. This is probably one of those tops though. You know those tops where it like looks like a corset but then it doesn't act like a corset and then it just like your boobs sit in it really, really awkwardly and then it's like not fun to wear and it doesn't look good, it looks just bad. This looks like one of those tops. The skirt's kind of cool though. Bugged out, ba this is just oogie boogie. <laughs> this is just oogie boogie. Bugged out baddie. It's like oogie boogie, but like hot. Um, <laughs> it's like very scarecrow, but green. I kind of like the hat though. Like the hat's kind of cool. That'd be kind of fun to wear like on Halloween as I pass out candy. Bugged out baddie. That's so funny. And like they have Nightmare Before Christmas themed things. Like they have that licensing. There's literally Nightmare Before Christmas Sally split girl sweatpants. Like they have Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. So I don't know why they have this as like bugged out batty. Like it's just Nightmare Before Christmas. Glamour flapper dress. See the Taylor Swift outfits on the other website were better flapper dresses than this. What is happening? If there's like sequins and then like this part's fringe. I don't know what's happening. Royal Red Queen. It's just, it's just the Queen of Hearts. Oh, this one looks bad. This one's bad. It's also like not styled well. Like it looks too big on her. 
Like the torso is also really long. I feel like the torso needs to be shorter because it like sits really awkwardly. Like her waist should end right here. This is just not cute. It just looks too, yeah, it looks too big. Not really a fan of this one either, but um, Lederhosen Honey Plus Size. Oh, those look so uncomfortable. Those suspenders, they look like they're made out of duct tape. Why is this $86? Two-piece Lederhosen Honey, including ribbon trimmed Lederhosen with daisy bib suspenders and cropped peasant top. At least they're not like all one piece. I mean, the top at least looks like you could reuse it and wear it for stuff. Is this just a blow up? What is this? This is a blow up plushy stein of lager. Wow. 80s workout hottie plus size costume. I'm starting to feel like how all the like Gen Xers are feeling now when we used to dress up as like 80s people and like now as the Gen Z is dressing up as like 90s people. There's literally Halloween costumes for Y2K now in the stores and I don't know how I feel about it. So like, I feel like while this is cute, I understand the the pain that the older generations have gone through seeing their general outfits become Halloween costumes because it's happening to me now. So I get you, even though I don't even think this is super accurate to how they dressed in the 80s. This is like the very like commercialized version of the 80s. I feel you. I feel you guys now. Cause literally I saw Y2K, my sister saw Y2K stuff in the Halloween store and she was just like, she sent me a text and she's like, no, <laughs> no. Also it's cold here during Halloween. So where are you gonna wear this? It's cold. We don't walk around in tiny, tiny clothes. It's freezing, it rains. Space Commander. <laughs> Space Commander. Does it even say NASA? Oh my God, it says NASA. Wow, I was surprised that they could even write NASA on there. NASA's like, we're not affiliated with this Halloween costume. You can't wear this and then walk onto the spaceship. These all just look like leotards with like straps on it. They're all just leotards with straps. My favorite Halloween costume I ever did was I dressed up as a television in the fifth grade and I painted, my dad and I made a box, made a TV out of a box, out of a TV box actually. And I drew a scene from this like silly old 60s ghost movie called The Ghost and Mr. Chicken. It had Don Knotts in it. It was very silly. It was just like the most 60s kind of horror movie you could imagine. And um, my dad helped me paint it and color it in. And then we made little buttons out of bottle caps that said Sony on it. And then I put like on a black hat and I walked to school. I was so proud of my Halloween costume. And I think I got laughed at, but I don't remember. Four piece pretty pixie costume plus Tinkerbell. This at least looks like it fits her properly. Like it's not too big because so many of the other ones just felt too large, which is always a common problem when it comes to plus size clothes is that things either fit like really too small or they're like really awkwardly large in certain places. It's like, oh, this fits my boobs, but it's really big on my waist. But this actually looks like it fits her. I'm not a fan of Tinkerbell. I, I actually kind of despise Tinkerbell as a character, but um, if you wanted to be Tinkerbell, you know, they have it at Hot Topic. My sister and I have always hated Tinkerbell. She tried to kill Wendy. See, this is what I'm talking about with things that don't fit properly because like it's too far off the shoulders. It's too big in the waist. It's too low on the waist. It's too big. Girl, th this outfit is too large on you. It doesn't fit good. The makeup looks cool. The makeup and the hair looks great. Um, oh, it has three reviews. Oh my God. Oh, it is true to size other than the elastic on the arm. So tight in the collar that it comes with would choke a two year old. <laughs> Run small and super short. Then why is it so big on the model? The collar could choke a two year old. That's a review right there. We got your standard devilish darling, cozy bat girl, um, galaxy girl. No, I want Xenon girl of the 21st century. Zoom, zoom, zoom. <sighs> Commando, just wearing camouflage. And then Mrs. Claus. <laughs> Ma'am, wrong holiday. So I think that's everything I wanted to look at today. I just really wanted to reminisce about Hot Topic because I loved working there. Not gonna lie, it was a blast working at Hot Topic. <laughs>
was so fun. The funny thing about now, about looking at the things that I knew more about working at Hot Topic, I remember when I applied there and my boss like asked a question. It was like a group interview and I was like the most qualified person there, overqualified actually. And my boss was like, oh, what is the one area that we sell that you don't have like a super good working knowledge of? And I was like, anime. And then like, Look at me now. That's all the Halloween costumes I wanted to look at today. Uh, definitely go check out Nisa's video series where she does window shopping because it's one of my favorite things to watch on the internet because she's so funny. She's so much funnier than me. I love you, Nisa. Happy Halloween month, everyone. I love October. Um, so I'll be having a couple more videos at least this month that are more Halloween themed. Um, I'll put some more decorations behind me. We'll see where it goes. Thanks again to Warby Parker for sponsoring today's video. You guys should definitely go check out the link below. Try on some glasses. You'll have a great time. And if you would like to follow me on any of my other social media, my Instagram and my Twitter are both Abers07. My TikTok and my Twitch are Abers without the 07. And I stream games on Twitch. Uh, most of the time I play The Sims. Uh, lately I've been playing Baldur's Gate, which has been really, really fun. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you have a good rest of your week and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.